Okay, in this movie we're going to show you how to use the line work in Genius. First thing we're going to do, I've uh, selected a description here. It happens to be uh, that the description I want to use is Edge of Asphalt, which I currently have selected. I'm going to turn my line work toggle on. And in this area here is where you have your line work control. So the one I just turned on is a straight line between points. The one next to it is a spline. And the third uh, option is a three-point arc. So here we're, uh, I have it set to side shot mode and I'm ready to take my measurement so we're just going to press measure. Okay and we'll store this shot. Now important thing to note here whenever you start a new line after you take your first shot um, what we do is we give the, the line that you're going to be creating a name and the name always starts with the first, the, the description of the first point on that line, which happens to be edge of asphalt. And this number you see here, we call it a group number. So Field Genius will automatically uh, keep all your line work unique. So the next edge of asphalt line we create, you'll see it'll have a group number of two. So we'll see that in a moment here. So I'm going to turn my line toggle off. We're going to choose a description here of center line. I happen to have, uh, I had my, uh, this button turned off here, I just turned it back on so you can see the entire list. I'm going to turn the line toggle on and I need to cite that point on the center line. And I'm just going to press enter to take the shot. Okay, and we'll store that shot. And I want to start another edge of asphalt here for the other side of the road. So this time I'm going to turn that off so we only see descriptions currently in use. Select edge of asphalt. And you're going to see we're starting a new line here because it says start line. And we'll move the instrument. And we'll take that shot. Now if we zoom into this area we're working in here, you can see there's our three shots. This blue X here indicates that on the line you currently have active here, which happens to be Edge of Asphalt 2, and you're going to notice here's that group code I was mentioning earlier. Um, because this is the second line for Edge of Asphalt, that automatically has a group code of 2. And we're basically ready to move to the next uh, point on this line, so it's going to be up here somewhere. And I'm going to shoot that right now. And we'll store that. Okay. Now if we zoom out here, you can see here's the line we've just created. If I, to switch now to the center line, I can go to my active lines list, just choose center line, press OK, cite that point, and just press the measure button. And you're going to notice here the blue X here is switched to, let me just zoom in here a little bit more, I switch to the center point line. So let's just take that shot. Okay, and we'll store that. And right now I'm set to side shot mode, so it prompts me for uh, information after the measurement, but I can switch this to side shot auto, which will speed things up here. I'm going to switch to edge of asphalt, uh, line number one, which is the first one. And I'm going to take the shot. And here I happen, I forgot to move, turn the instrument. So what I'm going to do here is just turn that off. Go to survey and click this delete last save point. So I've removed point 108. And what I'm going to do here is 
turn the instrument to that point. So I've made a mistake there, but that's okay. We can continue here. And because I had uh, that point was connected to a line, it automatically removed the line from the active lines list here. So what I should do is pan up here, pick on this line, press the pencil command just to start a new line. And you're going to see now this line is ready. Okay, so now I'm just going to press the measure button to sh shoot the other side of the road. So that's how you can uh, continue after making a mistake shooting a wrong point. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is turn the lines off and I want to shoot a pad. So I'm just going to type in pad. That description is currently not my list, so I'm just going to type it in and press OK. And we're going to shoot the four corners. So I'm going to turn on the line toggle. Okay. Now we're going to shoot the corners. It's just a square. Shoot the fourth corner. Now if we zoom in here a little bit, you'll see we're creating this line around the edge here. If I want to automatically close this back, I can just tap on the line, press this icon here for close figure. And now it's going to ask me, do I want to change that status to finish, which means it's going to remove the line from the lines list. I'll say yes. And there we go. We've shot four corners. Now, if I pan back to our road we're working on, I can also set these lines as figure by or current by simply selecting the line and using this icon here, which makes that the current figure. So you can see I can click on any one of these and make them current. And you can tell that by the blue X here. So let's switch back here, make it current. And we're just going to shoot an, shoot another edge of road. All right. And then we'll switch to center line. shoot the other edge of asphalt. All right, now I'm going to show you how to do a three-point arc shot. If I switch back to the center line here, make that current. I can turn on the three-point arc toggle, and how this works is you only turn that on when you're shooting the midpoint around the arc. Okay, so I sighted a midpoint on an arc, and we're going to take the shot. Okay, you're going to see here it's automatically switched back to the line toggle, and that's because it's expecting we're going to shoot the end of the arc. And you're going to notice the uh, arc button is grayed out. So let's shoot the end of the arc. And then there's our three-point arc. Now in your lines list, if we, let's say for example here, this edge of asphalt, um, we don't need those lines anymore. 
Uh, you can basically purge them out of the list here. You simply highlight the line and just tell switch tell this tell field genius to switch the active state. It's basically changing them to a state of finished. So it doesn't actually delete them from uh, the drawing. It just removes them from this list. So uh, it just helps you only keep lines in that list that you're currently working with. You can still, uh, maybe later on you, you decide you need to work on some of those lines again. If you turn this button off, now we're showing all the figures in the drawing. You can select any one of these lines and switch the active state back to active. So you can see these ones say no, which means they're currently not active. And also from the this lines list here, you can create new a new figure. You can also close a figure and you can delete any of these figures that you're working with. And that's how you do line work for Field Genius.